My name is Sony Bean, and my story takes place where the river flows like blood. Winter weather, so what we're going to do today is we're going to practice our snow crash. It's a unique school, you see, so it's an international school. You would know that there are going to be people here. And I never thought of making like, friends from all different places, Thailand, Bahrain, America, and France. You get to know their cultures, you get to know their point of views. And that's why I like boarding school so much, because I'm around people, and I like being with people. I, I can't remember my first impression. It's just so big and so plush and gorgeous and really interesting. I think that Ocean Spirit is really important to Gordonston because Kurt Hahn wanted us to go out to the Murray Firth and experience the weather and the elements. So. Well, in year 10, we, um, we take part in seamanship at Hopeman. So we've just, uh, school has just bought new, uh, two new cutters. So you do three or four days worth of um, practice, both in the harbour and then out in the open sea. So you're all ready equipped with all the skills you need before you come out on here for a week. It's very special because I don't think many people of our age in the world get an opportunity to have an 80 foot yacht for a week and just play about on it. Drama is really, really important to me. Uh, but it's in the curriculum from the very first year that you come in, you can take it as an A-level and as a GCSE. Juggler! Yeah. As extracurricular, there's activities and performances that you can get involved in at all ages. And they provide you with loads of opportunity to kind of let that interest kind of flourish. The school community is really, really supportive. The theatre is always full. When the school is doing something, everyone will come and see it. There's Coast Guard, Pool Lifeguards, Community Service, and Mountain Rescue and other things as well. But personally, I always love fire. Every child has sort of a dream of either becoming an astronaut, a policeman, or a fireman, and mine sort of came true. And getting the opportunity of becoming a voluntary firefighter was just the greatest thing in the world for me. And I love the challenge of just doing something which is very specific to this school. For Gordonson, it's the only school which has a voluntary fire service for people under the age of 18 and it just inspired me and I really wanted to do it. Um, I'm on the William Wood Scholarship because I'm related to the fishing industry in the local area. So I think I've grown up a lot here. I've matured a lot. Like when I go home and see my friends, I do think, oh. When I first told them, they were a bit skeptical, a bit like, oh, you're just gonna, you're gonna change so much and just, you're going to a posh school, you're just gonna come back and, not want to speak to us, but when I go home, I just slot straight back in. It's just like back to normal and it's good. After a very long journey, we arrived in Rwanda, but it was speaking to one of the people who had been through everything and hearing their story really got me. I mean, as you can see, we have great fun with the kids. And um, with Kwanda? Disenye. Disenye. Muraho Disenye. Amukuru? Nimeza. Nimeza. Our sister, we've got a Kenya Rwandan for you. I think the Rwanda has definitely changed me. I think the biggest lesson I came away with um, was about forgiveness. And I really try and include that in my everyday life. Because if people can forgive someone after genocide, 
that I should be utterly humiliated if I can't forgive a friend after falling out with them. The silent walk, when I mean, you go up it, you go up it quietly. And it's just, on a day like this, it's just gorgeous. Just sort of strolling up to the micro crack, just taking some time out. You're independent to do whatever you want to do because like, it's everything's on you. It's your choice. It's the balance of everything. Balance of sports, balance of studies. That's that's something really good about this place. Yeah. Yeah, Hannah, can I give you that? You get support from the staff, obviously. Um, but you really learn to make yourself want to work, if that makes sense. And it sets you up really well for uni. Um, because you're not being spoon-fed, you're not being forced to work. At the end of the day, it's your exam results and the only person that's going to lose out is you if you don't work. The Gordon Step really teaches you to sort of attack life and really, really make the most of it. It just, it's made me want to be the best I can be, which is really cheesy, but <laughs> it's true. Great, it's good, it's possible. Awesome.